this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome to Into the Fire, the young, the impressive defender, future AFL player, SA's 2020 draftee, Zach James Nathan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, mate. Thanks. Well, Zach, it's been an exciting start to the year, hasn't it? I don't mean coronavirus. Being part of the SA hub, you got to train with the PAL. How was that experience? Didn't take your guns to get it signed, did you? <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah, it was a really good year, start of the year. Um, really loved training with the PAL. Um, they were a really nice group. and. Yeah, probably one of the hardest weeks I've had the training, but um, yeah, I've really loved it. Yeah, they are a very nice group. I've been lucky enough to meet a lot of support boys, and they are an awesome group of people. Who took who took you under their wing? Well, when we got there, um, there was six of us there, and a couple of younger boys, Xavier Dozma, um, Zach Butters, and um, like Todd Marshall, they all sort of helped us get around and um, gave us a lot of advice as well. Yeah. That's pretty cool. They're all good players. Yeah. So tell me, what the young Zach Doomsday was like? Have you always been a great footballer? I used to play a lot of basketball as well and then probably stopped that a couple of years ago now. Really wanted to focus on footy to try and knock it down on that, but um, yeah. Well, you're going to play NFL, so that's pretty good. You've been touted as a possible first round draft pick. Does that put pressure on, on you or do you not read the material about it? Um, yeah, I haven't really, sort of, don't really, sort of try and block that out a bit. Um, just try and control what I can control. Yeah, just hopefully we can get back to playing pretty soon and hopefully we can play a few, get a few good games under my belt. Yeah, yeah well, let's hope you do play pretty soon. Let's talk about your footy. You're an athletic style defender. Is that where you see yourself in the future? Or do you have eyes on the new I think, oh, I used to play as like a tall forward um, back in the um, in sort of young gap ranks. As I've sort of progressed, like last year, I started playing in the back line and also pushing up to the wing. I'm in the seniors program at South, so I um, think hopefully see myself playing a bit more on the wing as well. Um, yeah. Wing's my favourite position. Yeah. You're a quick defender who was selected in the Australian side in the under 17s. What was it like to don the green and gold? Yeah, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, probably one of the best experiences I've had. Um, and all the guys that are playing um, are absolutely unreal as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you did pretty good. So, what team do you follow, Zach? I'm an Essendon supporter. Oh. So, um, yeah, Dad, Mum and Dad grew up in country Victoria, and um, yeah. yeah, so followed Dad's footsteps there. So, so your, your Mum and Dad still here? Or? Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, do you hope you get to Essendon? Or? Um, anywhere would be um, anywhere would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm sure they yeah. would. Sure. If there was a player in the AFL you could have round for tea tomorrow night, who would you choose? It's a few, isn't there? I think. I love Lockie Whitfield. I think I try and um, watch a lot as much of him as I can. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'd probably go him, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, he's so good. If you had to pick a player in the AFL you play most like, who would it be? Yeah, I think Lockie Whitfield definitely. Try and put just that run off half back and um, just using both sides of the body as well, like both feet. Yeah, sort of try and watch as much of him as possible. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What do you see as your best attributes? Let, let me make, let's make our own scout. I think, well, I've always, um, past a couple of years, I think my kicking, being able to kick on both sides of my body, um, Dad sort of drew that into me as a kid, just decision making as well. Yeah. Okay, so any areas of improvement that you're looking at getting before entering the AFL? Yeah, I've had a, couple, a lot of chat to coaches and um, they've all said, sort of just being more aggressive and um, a bit stronger, I think, so I think that means more hitting the gym a bit more, getting a bit more muscle and um, yeah, just being a bit cleaner as well. That's alright, you're pretty good. Let's, let's look a bit ahead to when you are picked up in the draft, and you will. Are you okay with moving away from home, and what would you miss the most? I think it would be a good experience, obviously, sort of, being here all my life. But I think I'd definitely miss mates and family. I think that would probably be the main thing. So very close to all of them. Yeah, that would be sad. Yeah. So let me know what you think with some of these questions about other players who might be in the draft. Which play would make you panic when they're running towards your opposition four with the ball on the lead? Gee, I think probably Kane Baldwin. I think mm. just a big presence. He's actually um, pretty good. Aren't yeah, I think he's pretty good. Yeah. You're about to bend down and pick up the ball, and someone steals it from you before you get there. Who is it? Probably a couple of the small forwards. It'd either be Isaiah Dudley or Corey Durden. I think they're very quick and um, sort of there, and then they're not. They're definitely pretty. Yeah. 
Someone is always first to training and last lead the track. Who is this? Riley Philthorpe. Yeah, he's always um, getting there early, trying to get to those extra skills done, and probably shows he's a great player. Yeah, he yeah. definitely is a good player. Mm. You walk out onto the ground for South Australia, and Ford walks to you. You say, oh great, it's going to be a hard day. Who's the Ford? Mm. Probably from Vic Country, Elijah Hollands. I mean, he's in, um, just recently injured, but um, I think he's always one that's, well, he's one that will go pretty high this year, and it sort of makes you a bit nervous playing on him. Yeah, he will go, he will go pretty yeah. high. You get $1,000 if you predict the number one draft pick this year. Who are you choosing? Hypothetical question. I think I'm on the Riley Fieldthorpe bandwagon this year. Um, Me SA too. Boy, but yeah, I think he's yeah, he's very good sort of dominating at senior level as well. But yeah. Which South Aussie do you think checks his Instagram the most? <laughs> I think Ty Schofield probably would. I reckon he's got the most followers. Yeah, that's but, a um, popular Yeah, answer. I think so. Yeah, he's all in all the time, I reckon. Which SA boy is most likely to train with his shirt off? <laughs> um, probably Tyreek Newchurch. I remember doing a lot of running and the training, and he's always one that I reckon he's the first one to take it off every time. Yeah. Well, Zach, from all I've seen and heard, you're going to be an amazing AFL player. You're a great defender, but let's be honest, at any stage you could be pushed up forward and you need to be ready. Not to keep goal, anyone can do that, but celebrate the goal, that's the key. I've got you mate, you can use mine, it's the end of the fire. I'll do it together. Alright, let's do it together. No, it's bad. not have too to, bad. Have to pull that one out, I reckon. Alright, you definitely do. It's been awesome catching up with you, Zach. I'm predicting a first round call for you, Zach. I'm really thankful that you've given up your time for me today, and I look forward to following you in your journey. Awesome, mate. Good to meet you. Thank you very much.